Our next hidden treasure is named for a figure from Georgia's political past, George L. Smith. You might completely miss this place on your way down to Savannah. Channel 2's Javita Moore joining us from George L. Smith State Park. John, that's right. This place is easy to miss when you're heading down I-16, but if you are searching for a quiet place to get away from the hustle and bustle, this is certainly a spot to consider. And for people who love to explore old covered bridges, there's one here. Not only is it authentically restored, but it's got a working history dating back to the 1880s. Peaceful, quiet, a place of serenity. Just a few words visitors often use to describe George L. Smith State Park, one of Georgia's hidden treasures about an hour north of Savannah. It's just a little taste of heaven to me, you know, this is kind of rare for this area. And people just come in and are all struck. Now they, my goodness, I had no idea I was coming to a place with this much beauty. The centerpiece of this beauty is the man-made lake filled with centuries-old cypress trees draped in Spanish moss and tupelo trees that appear to touch the sky. Just going back in time, like it's pristine, you get out there and feel like you're the first person that's ever been out on the water. Canoeists and kayakers can twist through trails on the water, staying aware of their paths as the trees become more dense as you travel along. It's just amazing. That looks like a forest right in the middle of the water. But on your way, you may be fortunate to spot pileated woodpeckers or a slider turtle basking in the sunshine. It's very relaxing to come into a state park and not look at your watch and think, am I late? What am I doing next? It uh, gives you a chance to unwind and go back to nature. There's also history to learn. A restored covered bridge, first built in the 1880s, Inside, it doubled as a grist mill, sawmill, and cotton gin in its heyday. Some of the original lumber cut at the mill remains part of the framework. It was just a small creek running through. And Mr. Hendricks, back in the 1870s, saw it and said this was an ideal place to put the mill and things in. It was all built by hand. The dam below still uses wooden gates. The water here so pure, the fish can go from the pond to your plate. The black water mysteriously reflects the green from the cypress needles in the summer, but by fall, the pond appears to be on fire when those cypress needles turn red. These pictures were taken by Jim Tillman from Savannah. It's a place where you can find something to do, and if you don't want to do anything, you can find that too. Tillman and his family have been camping at George L. Smith Park for 20 years, capturing memories along the way. Anybody who's ever came here once always wants to come back. In the early 70s, former Speaker of the House George L. Smith helped convince the state to buy the land to begin its transformation into a park everyone could enjoy. Why do you think so many people come back here year after year after year? It's just a, a, a naturalist delight to come down and see uh, uh, places like this, and it's quiet. Tim Allman's been park ranger for 28 years. He grew up nearby where the park's been a well-kept secret. It's just been here for, for years and, and has actually grown up and, and made a beautiful place. Visitors say George L. Smith State Park is worth the trip to connect with it now and what it used to be. Well, there's no doubt George L. Smith had a vision when he decided that preserving this old mill pond would mean saving another gem for our state. For Georgia's Hidden Treasures, I'm Jovita Moore.